So today I just wanted to talk about how in Japan they have school on the weekends and why. But before I get into that, I just want to point out that I got my hair straightened recently and it's looking really nice. I did the damage to straighten from hair salon Nalu and because I have bleached my hair before, I couldn't get my hair like pin straight, but it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Of course, there's a few waves in here, but that was actually because I put my hair up this morning. After I shower and blow dry my hair, it's always perfectly straight. It just still has a little bit of a frizz to it, but it's a big improvement from what my hair used to look like. So I'm really happy with that. And that came out really nice. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. But anyway, today I just wanted to explain how like in Japan, they sometimes have school on the weekends. I'm not sure what it's like in the rest of US, but I know in Hawaii, like, you never hear of having school on the weekends. Maybe if you're in a, some sort of sports club or something, you may have club activities on the weekend, but never school. And that's kind of the reason why I haven't been posting as much recently. A couple weekends ago, I had to work the entire weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, because the third years did their school trip to Kyoto. And since they were gone in Kyoto, the rest of the school had to have classes. So I had to go to work on Saturday, Sunday. And in exchange for those days, there was other days off. I had the next Monday and the next Friday off. So that was really nice. It's nice that they kind of exchange days like that. But I just kind of wanted to share with you guys how there is school on the weekend sometimes. It's not always common. But if there's some sort of event or something going on, then there may be school on the weekend and you may have to work if you're teaching. But I also had to work on the weekend when they did their parent visitation day. <laughs> Where they did their parent visitation day and the parents would come and watch their kids' classes. Another time you'll definitely have school on the weekend is when they have their sports event, which they usually take a whole week or longer to prepare for that. So there will barely be any lessons during that week and they literally just concentrate on the sports event. And on the Saturday, they'll have the sports event, which will be an all-day event. And it takes the place of one of their school days. So in exchange for that, usually the next Monday or something will be a holiday. Another time last year that I had to work on the weekend was they had like a bazaar. So they had all kinds of like food and stuff and they also had like the parents, the PTA, had set up like this little area where they were selling things that someone either made or they were selling like old used items or items that people donate and stuff so that they can kind of earn money and use that towards like PTA events and other things like that. So I just wanted to share with you guys about how I did have to work on the weekend and I've been really busy lately and that's the reason why I haven't been able to keep up with my videos. After that, I also got my hair straightened and I didn't go out much for that weekend because you can't wash your hair and you can't get it wet and stuff. If not, it could undo the straighten. So I pretty much just stayed at home the next weekend, catching up on things, cleaning the house and stuff. And that working that seven days straight really took a toll on me. So I've been really tired and I haven't been able to do much recently. I haven't done any crafts or anything either. But I'm hoping to kind of get back on track again and start making my usual videos as well as doing my crafts if you guys have any craft ideas or anything you want me to do please let me know i'll see you guys next time bye